What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to part one of my Let's Play for The Surge 2. Now, we had a chance to play the demo of this a couple weeks back, and I was really, really blown away by all the changes they added to this uh, compared to the original Surge. So, this should be a really good time. Now, I know a lot of folks are also curious about the walkthrough, similar to how I did with Sekiro or Dark Souls. Uh, there will be a walkthrough after this series, but first, I want to go through it completely blind, just enjoy it for myself, then we'll figure out all the secrets on stream and get a walkthrough to you guys. So maybe in about two weeks, you'll see that. But either way, let's get things started off. So I already went ahead and uh, set everything up, controls should all be good, and we're ready to rock. What if machines were pure? A basic universal concept without morals or destiny. Yet because they are created by humans, inheriting all their countless imperfections, how could machines ever be better than us? Would they not, by design, follow the path of their creators and, in the end, fail? God, what is it? It's coming right at us. Are you based the maneuvers? Take you base the maneuvers! Please brace for impact. So whatever was on that plane, maybe that is the root cause of like all the weirdness that's going on in this game. It looked like something got onto the plane, basically absorbed that dude, and then uh, everything just just got crazy from there. And these randomizations are wild. Everyone has like the same face, but just different hair and stuff. Uh, let's give them. Let's go for that. Yeah. That. Young. Make that. Not going to spend a ton of time on character customization, but. As time has gone on in games like this, I find myself doing uh, less and less customization of the character just because it's like, you know, we never, we don't really see our character that much, you know, we're, uh, we're fighting and stuff. It's a third person, so, uh, There's the beards. There we go. All right, that that looks good. He's got some big old cheekbones, but I think we can work with that. Medical report TS1. Our new patient has been in a semi-delirious state for weeks. The subject seems to be reliving traumatic memories of Flight 221. A girl. And some sort of... anomaly. It's not over. But... this can't be true. There was only one survivor in the crash.
around, interact. Actually, I do want to touch down my sensitivity just a pinch. Probably there. Yeah, that's better. Audio log. Medical report number TS2. The patient who brought me some weeks ago is still in coma. Cannot determine if he's infected. Sirs, I am just level one doctor in a police detention facility. But I do not Sent. recommend transport. Not yet. Stop looting bodies. Only I can loot bodies as the protagonist. Get lost, scumbag! About to hit him with that shuriken right there. You got lucky. Um, yeah, might as well. Before I can do it, I'm not strong enough. Don't leave me to run in here, okay? So wasn't there something around here? I mean, so far this is obviously identical to the demo. The demo was uh, basically the, the very start of the game. Probably in case you die, that way you're not making this long run. I mean, it's not really long, but y'all know what I mean. I think that was going to be a three hit. Oh my god, no, no, oh wow. Yeah, I don't have my dodge yet, so it's like I'm, I'm super careful about getting in on him. There we go. Whew. <laughs> that was close. I was real close. Welcome, Officer Johnson. Suit me up. Rig installation in do -do 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 -do. progress. Do -do 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 -do. Scrap health stamina, we know all this stuff. Uh, let's bank that scrap. And we will go for. Let's go with health for the time being. Oh, never mind. There we go. 
Rig installation complete. Yeah, I feel like a badass now. That was definitely one of the the most like oh my god scenes I think in gaming. Like back in the uh, back in the, the first surge, your guy like essentially accidentally gets a rig installed onto him. Like that is just brutal. You're like oh my god. You'll neither know nor care which functions are still performed by your own body. Let MG take control of your nervous system and take back control of your life. Thank God you're back. Please tell me you found a rig. Boom! That's my weapon now. So if you have never heard of the Surge or seen it, and you just have no idea what's going on, essentially the way the Surge works is as you do damage to an enemy, they reach uh, thresholds. And when you do enough damage to a part, you get a prompt, and then you can sever that limb, whether it's a leg, an arm, a head. And the limb that you sever, if they have a weapon or an armor piece or what have you, you can take it. So. In a sense, think of, uh, think of, like, souls, but with targeting specific body parts to get your gear. And, like, there is stuff you can find out in the environment. Armor, weapons, all that stuff. Um, oh, god, my controller died. Well, it's a good time for it to happen, as opposed to in the middle of a boss fight, which is usually my luck. Um... As I said, yeah. So basically, the idea is you're you're aiming to to get your armor and your weapons and all that stuff from the stuff you fight. Sorry. Please get me out. Right time. Shit. Thank you. Right time. I was beginning to lose. Open your eyes, Garcia. There's never gonna be. I'd love to repay you, but as you might guess, I'm a bit broke right now. I hope I see you again. Benberg never leaves a debt unpaid. Oh, don't worry, you will. I heard there's an evacuation camp in the city. Gateway Bravo or something. Gonna try my luck there. I always wanted to be a search and rescue guy. Maybe we'll see each other around. Come to the evac camp. I'll be there. Mm, looks like there's no log in there. This is the one-handed. I think I'm just gonna stick with the the spear thing. Um, no, back in the beta, I was all about the spear. All right, so those are my twin rigs, heavy duty one-hand spear. It's a big boy. We'll see about that, Warden Man. Directional block analyzer? Damn, they just give it to you this early? That's dirty. So, the way parrying works is while you're blocking, you basically go in the direction before a weapon would hit. So, as long as I don't potato it. I get my parry. I know there's a small window where you can get the parry off. Boom! There it is. God, what is it? It's coming right at us. Are you based the maneuvers? Take you base the maneuvers! Shit! I saw another guy in this room a second ago. There he is.
It does feel like they've tightened the parry window up a little bit, which is good. Um, remember back in the beta, I was able to get parries like instantly. Just like parry, 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 parry. Escape to all right, and that's the boss room. So real fast, let's go back and spend our, our scrap. Um, and plan. So what do we have right now? We have on health observer, directional block, analyzer. It's just log stuff. and stamina. Actually, I might... Let me, let me check something. I might be able to... Uh... Yeah. Hell yeah. There we go. Got our spear upgraded. consume a battery to pre-charge. Okay, yeah, that's really good. You can see that there's armor on that, but that's going to make it harder to attack. Now, I could attack the uh, the left arm, which is not armor, but I want to get that thing he's using. Oh, shit. Definitely makes the fight a little harder, but that's how you get access to fancy schmancy boss weapons. Now, I don't know if they did it with the search too, and we'll find out as we play. Uh, but one of the things that was kind of neat in the last surge is there were unique ways to beat each boss. And if you did beat the boss that way, you got a special version of their weapon. So, for example, there was one boss that had uh, a twin rig weapon, which is essentially like... Uh, 
almost like dual claws or dual blades. And if you beat him the normal way, you got the weapon. If you beat him the special way, you got the weapon and it also had a, uh, oh God, that hurt. You got the weapon and it also had like a burn modifier on it. So you could light enemies on fire with it. No, nope, no, please do not wombo combo me, dude. I have survived for too long. Oh my God, is this? No, I've come too far to die here. Really gotta watch my stamina here. Got him. Give me your goodies. Warden Garcia, offline. Owner killed in MG Jackknife Pro. Nice, nice, nice. Single rigged, 82 damage. Um, let me. It's my button. Favorite, favorite, favorite. Single rigs are schematic AID Nightfall arm gear. I wonder if the if this schematic is uh, what I got for for beating him because I don't remember getting that schematic in the beta. Multiple drone modules. Yeah. Like almost dead. These things are weird. Can I get my toy, please? Oh, right. Sorry. I'm. Can you hear me? Go to Fort Nixon. Find the plane. Let's hit that up first before we do anything else. And then drone modules. So, Excel, S and R. What's this do? What is an S and R? Use confirm search and rescue request. What? This is new. I have no idea what this is. Have a nice day, officer. God, that hits freaking hard. Search and rescue. Please confirm search and rescue request. Hmm. I feel like that might be, I mean, search and rescue drone. It doesn't show me any information on it. Oh, oh, oh no. Consumes all tech scrap, transports you back to safety. No! <laughs> oh my god, that means all the scrap I got from killing the boss is gone. Fuck me. Oh, that's so ass. That's so incredibly ass. Oh, why did I do that to myself? Oh god, no. Uh, I thought it was like maybe a multiplayer thing, like it, it looked for people that sent out help. Oh, well, it looks like we're going to do some farming. Phew. That's injectables. That swaps my weapon and down does uh, body lights. Yeet. Cool. That. Lots of omni cells. That. Well, I'm glad I learned what that did now versus later, because that would have sucked to have it like really banked up and then just like, oopsie, looks like you used it all. Again. 
and that's it for the starter zone. So definitely uh, a bit of an oof there going through my tech scrap. I'm not even sure how much I just lost, but I'm going to have to I'll have to go back and uh, take a look at the video because that hurts. I mean, at the same time, you know, I, I'm going to have to farm stuff anyway to get like armor pieces and whatnot and upgrades. So it's not a ah, major loss. Lift after all. At last we meet in the flesh. But it does still suck losing all that, whatever, however much I had. Um, so anyway, we're going to wrap up here. Part one is done. The warden is down. I assume we got the special stuff because we got a uh, got a recipe as well as a badass weapon from him. So I don't know. But anyway, we're going to close this one on out. We'll see you guys soon with more Surge 2. So keep it locked down on that channel. Because we all know YouTube don't send notifications worth a shit. And I'll see you guys then.